the Bofors Torvagen. Its hull front withstands hits, while its narrow turret in its frontal projection doesn't have any weak spots at all. Doesn't have any weak spots at all. Wait, what? Okay, let's put that to test. Mm hmm I would say it checks out, guys. Before the war wagon, ladies and gentlemen, our newest Tier 8 premium heavy tank from Sweden, what you can get completely for free. You just have to pay for the loot boxes for 50, 100, 200, or however many boxes you need with your luck. But worry not, you do not have to pay anything for opening them. Yet, which makes it free. It's free real estate. A tank what doesn't have any weak spots, hull down, they say. Well, they did get that right, but do not worry, Primo rounds are still going through the turret if you hit it next to the gun on the side. Artillery is always there to help you out going back into the garage. Side is weak together with lower plate. Basically, it is one of the most annoying tear aids hull down to deal with, but anywhere else you can take it out quite easily. Horrible mobility with sluggish rotation speeds, a long reload for quite a juicy 400 alpha damage gun with high penetration numbers, but many, many, many tanks are able to out-DPM you without any questions. So how to play it? Because of its absolutely horrible base 360 meter view range, you maybe want to use coated optics to get it up to 445 meters at least. Simple ventilation even together with ventilation directive is not going to cut it, but if you do not care about that, you have a couple options such as stabilizer, turbo, improved hardening, but rammer I would say is quite must have. Standard crew skills, definitely maxing out view range skills with some smooth ride and snapshot action and of course repairs. This type of tank may make players play either too aggressively and get them killed early, uh, not knowing what they are doing, or too passively only in the hull down locations and not helping to team out that much. So all in all it is definitely a one trick pony, which is its frontal armor, mainly the frontal turret armor, which is basically impenetrable and super frustrating tank to deal with for other tier 8 players, but tier 9s, tier 10s, some premium love can still do it. For me personally, because of its absolutely poor mobility and gun performance, uh, I would say average at best.